<laughs> That's cute. I like it. <laughs> Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We're in Cody, Wyoming. As a kid, I came here and loved it. And so we're going to go see the Buffalo Bill uh, Museum of the West. I just want you to do your little dance again. Chuck Wagon Biscuits. Oh, they're flaky. The inside's really moist. Those are really good. Of course. Wow. That's great. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. These are wonderful. Beans with bacon. Oh, wow. These are really good. They have a little bit of smoke flavor. They're hot. They have bacon. Yep. Maybe the Oregon Trail wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> You've died of cholera. Krispies. You'd be a certified trail cook. That was fun. <laughs> what a cool little display. They got the chuck wagon all set up there. And he, that was just awesome. And that's outside in the free area. with a GoPro. An entire gallery of pictures of independent women. That's really neat. This is my daughter is very neat. taking pictures of the headdresses, don't lean in. Of course she goes for the tomahawk.
are one of the largest collections of firearms in the United States, spanning more than 800 years of history. Well, that takes a little time. <laughs> Old school crossbow. just finished the Buffalo Bill Museum and wow there's five different uh, museums in this and they were all so fascinating. This was really well done. We don't pay admission for many no. things but this was I think definitely worth it. Yeah. I think definitely. This was definitely worth it. Yeah it's 1975 for adults. And if you're a military or veteran they have a discount. Oh, that's cool. My favorite part oh my gosh was the was the um, animal uh, what is it natural history natural history natural history part well I would have said the Plains Indians but the firearms you seen was really uh, amazing they were very thousands. well stocked yes well, I've never seen half of them that's fantastic <laughs> there was a really nice historical collection that was really good so the firearms museum yeah, that was cool. but I have to say hands down my favorite part the beans and the biscuit. Which is free out front. Yeah. All right, how if we go to try and find lodging? Oh, jeez. <laughs> the hell of life on the road. <laughs> Goodness gracious, he's huge. All right, go sniff your horse. Can I go? Can I smell him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, that horse is enormous. Oh, you're bigger than my horse. Sure you don't want to ride, babe? I just put a fly spray on it. I was going to say, yeah. and he does not smell like horse. <laughs> oh, hello, big boy. Oh, you're beautiful. Yeah. Not proper shoes. So where are you guys from? Oregon. Oregon? Okay. His name is Hank. Hank. Hey, Hank. Oh, that is a big beetle. Look at the size of those feet. I know. Oh my god, those hooves are enormous. Well, actually, straight up, look at that. You are, you're not even up to the bottom of the saddle. And not proper shoes <laughs> yeah. around the horse. Pretty much anything. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you're wearing if he steps on well, yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My flip flops are going to protect me as much as my boots. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you sure you don't want to ride? <laughs> well, that got windy, so you might not be able to hear. But if you're in Cody, stay at the Big Bear Hotel. They've got Country Singer over there and horse and pony rides. And as you saw, that horse was enormous. Oh, and their pool is really nice, too. We're going to go check out the other horses. Katie likes to smell horses. I got my horse fix. I've been seeing him all day and I finally got to pet them and smell them, even though Hank smelled like bug juice. <laughs> I convinced her not to stop in the middle of the highway to get out and smell horses. I know. It's weird. But they do smell good. To horses. <laughs> Drinking his coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>